Welcome to this lesson on using SQL DBM. By now you should have received an email from SQL DBM company giving you a license to use their tool online. This is an excellent tool. I've uh, been using it for a few years now. It has gone through some revisions. And it may have gone through another revision or two since I recorded this video. Open up your template. And in your template, you should see something simple, similar to this. Now, it's important that you use the template that I sent to you. Tempting as it may be to create a whole new project and do everything there. If you do that, I cannot see it. So, please use the template that I sent you. Every semester I have one student who does it a different way and annoys me. So please use the template that I gave you. So um, in the template there are some instructions here. There are some tabs across the top. We will be doing various projects in, uh, with these tabs. In this lesson we're going to use the SQL DBM tab and create some uh, an EOD diagram for this lesson. Now to clean this up a little bit, we could do a few things. Number one, over here in the top right corner, there's a little up and down arrow icon. If you click on that, it removes their, or hides the right panel. And on the left panel, we could do the same thing here. Click on diagrams. And that gives us a little better, a little bigger, screen to work with. So we're going to be creating entities, attributes, and relationships. I understand at this point we don't know what those mean, but we're going to do them anyway so that we can um, when we learn how to do entities we will know what they or how to create them. So the first thing we're going to do is create a table. Click on the icon here, just click it once, drag the table down here, and click. Now in the exercise, we're going to create a course entity, or course table, we type in course. Then we type in the first attribute named course ID. The data type will be int, and don't worry about what that means yet. Now we're going to hit tab a couple times here so that we drop below this little thin line here. So the attributes above the thin line represent our primary key. Again, we don't know what that means yet, but later on we will. The attributes above are the primary key. The ones below it are the non-key attributes. We'll type in a few attributes here. So a course is in a department, it has a name, it has a number, chart 10, credits, this is how many credits is a course, that would be an integer, which is a whole number, and a, we'll leave that. We click in the black area here, and it creates a table. Uh, yours may, your background may be white. Uh, this is a choice you can make in the options up here somewhere. I won't go into that, but just be aware that SQL DBM allows two themes. One with a black background, one with a white background. I prefer the black. Now we're going to do a teacher table. Click on the button again, and we drag it to the right. And we will rename this teacher. We will give it a teacher ID as an int. Again, we drop below the thin line. And the teacher has a first name. So we'll call it Varchar. And the last name, also Varchar. And a phone number which will be a, oops, 
which should be a var char 50. I'm sorry, yeah, 50. And we will change this to nullable. I'll just click the button one time. So now we have two entities, teacher and course. And we're going to create a relationship between the two. To create a relationship, we have a parent table and a child table. To create the relationship, we click on this icon here. We click on non-identifying. It says click on the parent table. In this case, the teacher is the parent table. We click on teacher. And then we click on the child table, which is course. And when we do that, it creates a line between the two where we have, and it adds teacher ID in the child table. We'll learn more about relationships as the course moves on. And we'll learn why this is put in this table here and not the other way. And we'll learn all, have all that to learn. For now, we're just trying to understand how SQL DBM works. Let's create another table here, another relationship between a student and a bus route. So a student rides a bus. Let's create a student over here. We have student with a student ID. And we go below the thin white line. Students also have a first name and a last name. And students ride buses. It's a bus route. It is the data type. We go below the thin white line. Bus route has a name and a driver. Now we're going to create a relationship between bus route and student. In this case, the bus route is the parent table and student is the child. Click on this, click on non-identifying. We click on the parent table, which is bus route. We click on student, which is the child. And again, it adds the child to our, I'm sorry, adds the bus route to our student table. These are called, whoops, whoa. These are called one-to-many relationships. We'll learn much more about these later, but for now, a teacher has many courses. A course has one teacher. A bus route carries many students. A student is on one bus route. Let's look at many-to-many -many relationships. And here we're going to have a relationship between a movie and a cast member. Let's pull this up. I'm going to put the movie here. The movie has a movie ID. You probably guessed that already. And a title. And a release date. And there should be a date time or date relationship, I mean date data type, or the date it was released. Now in a movie we have a cast. So let's create over here, create a table over here, name cast, member, And we'll give a first name and a last name. And that's that. 
Now, a movie has many cast members in it, and a cast member can be in many movies. So we're going to create a third table, put it in the middle here, and we'll name this cast. Now here we're going to create two relationships, one between movie and cast, one between cast member and cast. This time we're going to make the, because this is a many-to-many -many relationship, meaning a movie has many cast members and a cast member can be in many movies, we will create an identifying relationship. The parent table is movie. The cast is the child. Notice in this case, a couple of things are different. One, the line is solid, meaning it's an identifying relationship. And number two, notice it put the key here above the thin white line, meaning this is part of the primary key. Let's do the same thing again. We'll click on the parent and the child. Here we see we have the cast is made up of the primary keys of the two tables it joins together. Call it many to many. We'll be doing more of those later. Let's do one more here. Let's do book and author. We will create the book table. And it also has a title. And it has a ISBN. There's a book. Now let's add an author. Oops. Too fast there. Again, we go to the, below the thin white line. We have our first name, the last name, and we will also create a relationship here between the two. We add a table, and we'll name this book author. This should be all the authors for this for a book. Again, this will be a many-to-many. -many. Then we will create a relationship here between book, book author, another one between author and book, oops. We try this again, identifying author and book author. And that is our ERD for template one. I gave you the answers here. All you have to do for this assignment is to redo what I did here. Not quite done yet. Uh, I need to click on save up here. I click on save and it saves my template and bumps my version a notch here. Now the next lesson we will learn how to Read this into the SQL DBM, uh, I'm sorry, the ERD grader.